I am joined by rugby legend Willie John McBride. Willie John, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us here in Cavan TV. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be here. You were here back in 1982 to open the Virginia um, Rugby Grounds. I mean, and amazing that you were here 30 years later. They're delighted. It's an honour. What do you think's changed in the club over the years? Well, I, I, you know, first of all, it, it really is frightening that 30 years have gone since 19, 1982. But, uh, you know, yeah, I come down here and one of the things that struck me immediately was the enthusiasm and the, and the welcome that I've received here this afternoon. And, and you know, one of the great things about rugby and about this club is it sort of epitomizes what rugby really is all about. And that's about, about young people. It's about family. Uh, it's about community and I think that it's the real reason why we play rugby and I suppose a lot of games could say the same thing and certainly I believe that Virginia has got it right. It's just, it's brilliant the way that over the 30 years, the way that they have carried on since we opened this ground, the, the numbers of people who have come through, the fun they've had, the families who have been involved and indeed what it has given to the community. Uh, and it's just a delight to be associated with it. Yeah. Uh, I remember that night when I came down and I was coaching the Ulster team at the time and we brought the whole Ulster team down here uh, to play in that opening game and we had one hag of a night. It, it, it really was brilliant. And just to see that enthusiasm is just carried on from then. It's just great. You know, I think in today's professional world of, of sport, you know, sometimes I wonder have we forgotten what sport is all about? And I think this this just epitomises what sport is all about. It's just magic to be part of it. What is your, um, you know, you're an Irish rugby legend and a, and a Lions legend, but what's your, I suppose, greatest memory in your career? Well, you know, one of the greatest things you can do is play for your country, obviously, and, and I have wonderful memories of playing. Uh, it's actually 50 years this year since I got my first cap, oh, wow. 1962. So it's Doesn't a special like year. That long ago, it's just... special that it's special that this year as well. But uh, those were were great years, and of course, to be captain of your country is a great honour. But I, I suppose the things that stick out in my mind, uh, I was one of the lucky players to be around, uh, you know, particularly with the Lions, and and uh, to go to New Zealand and and beat New Zealand in a Test yeah. series. And we haven't done that in 40 years. We haven't done that since then. And then, of course, to be captain of the Lions. And you know, the Lions, which is four countries, and to be captain of a team that consisted of players from the four countries, that was something special. And particularly in that era, because we went to South Africa and we won 22 games without defeat, which was, that's something I'd cherish for the rest of my life. You absolutely should. You mentioned that you've captained the Irish team, if I'm right in saying, 11 times. Oh, I can't remember. Ah, uh, well, I think, yeah, so yeah. a great honour. And also, you know, you're. Um, were part of one of the most successful Lions teams in history. You captained that team and that side. You know, tell us a little bit about that tour. There was a lot of, um, I suppose, animosity between um, the, the the two teams. Well, there always is when you go to the Southern Hemisphere. When you go away from home, and you particularly if you go to the Southern Hemisphere uh, and South Africa and New Zealand in particular, but the, you know, it's the national game. Yeah. And of course, they don't like being beaten. <laughs> uh, and we were really prepared for them in 1974. And, uh, you know, we had a team that, you know, again, it epitomized all the things that are good in the team. They, they were guys, they were winners, they worked hard, they, they built up a great teamwork within themselves. And there was a word maybe that you don't hear so much today. They had great loyalty to each yeah. other. And, and they had great loyalty to me as a captain and they had great loyalty to the coach and, and indeed to the game. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's 40 years in a couple of years' time. and. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have another reunion oh. and, and one of there's, we've lost three of the players so yeah. you know it, it'll just be a magic day to bring them all together It'd again great to get and you know when I have memories of that of course Lions tours in those days yeah. was three and a half months wow. we played 22 games in that tour, of... uh, without yeah. defeat and it, 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 there's just something that was special about it and I know not only me but I know all of us who were, took part in that tour uh, you know we'll go to our graves with yeah. wonderful memories and great friendships yeah. You were um, known for your, your policy as such, the all-in, one-in, if I'm right in saying. Um, do you think th that is go ahead today with the new sin bin? Well, uh, yeah, we didn't <laughs> have... that policy. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have sin bins in no. those days. We, we had to sort our own problems yeah. out and, and uh, we didn't have people interfering from the touchline and things like that. And there were some pretty tough guys oh, yeah. from the high oh, yeah. in South Africa. And, uh, you know, as you say, one in, all in, we had to stand together and, 
uh, take them on and, and face them down. But we played some great rugby as well. Uh, and if they wanted the physical stuff, we were able for that too. So uh, that was one of the magic parts yeah. of it as well. Yeah, uh, Great. Um, I suppose there's a lot of new um, up-and-coming um, Irish rugby players, but who would you admire the most out of these young stars up-and-coming? Well, there, there's quite a lot of them that have come through in the professional era. And, and you know, Ireland over the last number of years have really been tremendous uh, to win Triple Crowns and to win Grand Slams. But, you know, the, the one guy who stands out who... You know, one of the things that I look at over the years is durability. The guy who's been there and the guy who's always there and the guy that will always come in whenever you're in trouble uh, and the guy who wins and loses games uh, but mostly wins them and can change games. And I believe that uh, O'Gara has been one of the, the great stalwarts yeah. and, of course, Brian O'Driscoll yeah. uh, as a captain. But uh, O'Gara has been one of those guys yeah. too. So I would say those two guys, O'Driscoll and O'Gara for me, would be the two stalwarts of the Irish team in the last few years. Right. Um, you're um, very much involved with the Wooden Spoon charity. Tell us a little bit about that and your involvement, um, Willie John. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I, I got involved with this. It's, it's really a rugby associated uh, uh, charity and it, it uh, sort of tries to make life better for mentally and physically handicapped and disadvantaged children. Uh, and, you know, when I look back over my years, you know, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we were blessed with some abilities and being able to play a sport and travel the world. And, you know, when I think of some of the children that we've helped, they, they won't have those opportunities. Uh, and I think it's a very healthy thing uh, to get involved in a charity like that. And, you know, we can't cure, cure these children, but we can make their life a lot better. Uh, and I would like to think that what we do in Wooden Spoon uh, is making life a lot better for a lot of kids. I know they're having an auction here tonight and you've been extremely generous with donating some of your memorabilia. Well, uh, you know, we try and do a little, uh, you know, memorabilia is a, a new word for me. We <laughs> were in the amateur world. Uh, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of memorabilia from then, but uh, what we can do, we try and do. Yeah. And uh, hopefully they will raise a bit of money here tonight for for Wooden Spoon. Well, please God. Uh, Willie John, you're an absolute inspiration to um, lots of the rugby stars and young and up-and-coming players. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to All About Sport and Cavan TV. And it's great to meet such a, a rugby legend. Thank, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very